This is the festival I mentioned in the last speed paint. It is a three day event with the last day being held on the full moon. On the first day, they light a candle to symbolize that it is the first day. They have a huge feast with what's left of the flower to prepare them for the three day event. Once they're finished, the children participate in a competition. The age ranges from 8 to 21. Each family signs their child up at different times depending on their tradition. The competition is a magic duel of sorts, and whoever wins levels up in said magic. The next day, the second candle is lit. This is the fun day of the festival. It's kind of like a carnival, but the games aren't rigged, and there's costumes and seasonal treats. They even have rides and performers. On the final day, the last candle is lit. Children are given small gifts depending on their age and their family tradition. Some families have private parties, but there is a party in the town square. They have games, a beauty competition for the young ladies, a wrestling competition for the young men, as well as a parade. However, the biggest party is held at the palace. Nobility and those with exceptional talent are invited. For most of the party, they eat, dance, and socialize. However, the nobility's children are in a separate room having their own party. They have someone watching them, and they play different games and have different suites. At the stroke of midnight, the royal family perform a ceremonial dance. The king and queen usually do it, or if their child is old enough, it is the child and their confidant. They use a staff unique to the flower to summon a rain. This rain is unique to said flower, and it replenishes it for six months. And that's how the magic system works for this world. Though I'm still deciding on how the magic looks, maybe that'll be next time speed paint. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please check out my social media, Steven's social media, the Gem School Host Club, and my comics. Stay artsy. Bye guys!